Well, we are so lucky to have one of the world's best jazz artists on the show today from Wesleyan University, professor of music and the director of the jazz orchestra there. Jay Hogard joins us back here on CT Style. Always a pleasure to have you here. Well, Teresa, now that I'm here seeing you now as a mama, last time I was <laughs> hey. here, you weren't. And, a, yeah. and, and you still look like a teenager. Oh, uh, look at that. Ooh, Jay, just pouring it on. every time. Yeah. Come back. But this is so exciting because uh, about a year ago, your new album came out, right? And Harlem we... Hieroglyphs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so talk to us about that and what inspired you to, to create this and, and the story behind it. Well, uh, there, there are many levels to it, but, and, but it's... Almost all of my compositions, they're three compositions from other people, and I'm trying to portray kind of visual, visual images and sonic images. Mm -hmm. So we in jazz try to be uh, both literal and real abstract and creative at the mm -hmm. same time. And jazz, I feel like, has such a, a feeling to it. When you turn it on, you could be stressed out, whatever I mean, look be. at him go in his picture. You're, you're moving and grooving. <laughs> But it's, it's really a feeling that goes beyond the music. What does it mean to you to be able to share your music with, with people that are, are into all different types of music? Well, it, it's a beautiful thing. And the music is, is of a universal language. It cuts, through, it cuts through so many things, so many barriers of other kinds of language or other kinds of aspects of culture that people get stuck in this or stuck in that or you look this way or you sound this way or you have this clothes on. Music of all kinds, and particularly we in this, uh, in this musical style try to, to be as broad speaking as possible. Yeah. Let me ask you the, the vibraphone. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. So how, do you, how did you get into that originally? Well, I had a dream when I was 15. I was on the wrestling team, and I wasn't exactly going to the Olympics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so after the season, I had a dream and that I was playing the instrument. And then uh, I woke up and asked my father if there was a place where we could rent one, and we rented it. And wow. First time I hit it, I said, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. No and kidding. That's, it's a long time since I was 15, 45 <laughs> years. No, more than 45, 47 years. A lot of practice. Real quick, we only have a little bit of time left, but tell us about the upcoming uh, show and concert. Yeah, I'm doing a concert on this Friday at the Bregamos Theater here in New Haven. Cool. Then the next night I'm in White Plains, and then the week after that in New York. So if you look on my website, www.jayhogard.com, <laughs> it's all there. Awesome. We're going to have so to have much. you bring the vibraphone next time. See you in action. Well, this is this is the quick in and out. I know. guess, but next time, because it's so well, impressive. You, you watch it online. All right, we'll have to check it out. Jay, thanks so much for joining us here on the show. My pleasure. Make Ryan. sure you guys thanks check out the new album. Here. here it is.